is the United States ready for the surge of people that's going to come across the border starting later this week? We're doing all we can. Uh, the answer is uh, it remains to be seen. It's going to be chaotic for a while. It's like showing up to surgery without scrubs or a scalpel. Uh, so what do they really plan to do about it? So far, it's very confusing, and apparently they're going to let almost everyone free, according to NBC News. Quote, Biden uh, admin to allow for the release of some migrants into the U.S. with no way to track them. Well, that'll certainly make things better and less confusing. Well, let's break it down with tonight's party panel. We've got comedian and Fox Across America radio host Jimmy Fallon, number one. We've got Democrat strategist and Fox News contributor, also a radio host. Leslie Marshall is back. And senior editor and best-selling author from Reason, Robbie Suave, rounding things out. What a delightful night. Uh, maybe, oh. maybe not so delightful for some of those Border Patrol agents, Jim. Uh, what kind of pictures can we expect to see in the next two days? Oh, it's bad. You know what it's going to look like? Remember that college bar that didn't check ID? That's our border right now. Biden has turned our country into the college bar that doesn't check ID. Once the word gets out that anyone can get in, everyone shows up. And that's what's going on. When Mayorka says, ah, the border's closed. You know, it's so closed that 10,000 people a day are getting in. Shame on this man, because they created this humanitarian crisis, and they're not coming because there is, oh, I don't know, not a lack of legislation there. They're coming because they're getting in. Okay, it has nothing to do with the system they inherited and everything to do with the lack of security at the border. And really quickly, where are all the kids in cages people? Mm. Under Trump, well, we got kids in cages. Now it's Biden's migrant inclusion resort and spa? Like, where is the no, outrage? There's, there's no spa because they're not being held in custody because there's no room for them. I think yep. that's what kind of scares me about this whole thing, Leslie, is the safe mass release program. They don't know it's safe. They just know that it's mass release. The whole thing is very confusing. Uh, you've got people who are being bused to, you know, grocery store, parking lots, sidewalks open parks. They don't really know where they're going. And, you know, you, of course you have unaccompanied minors in that fray, but you also have an administration that they don't know what they're doing. They, they don't know how to vet people. They don't know how to keep track of people. Uh, they don't know how to stem the tide. They know how to lie about it. Illegal immigration has not dropped by 90 percent. I mean, the, the pictures and the data show us that. So can you please make sense of this for me? Yeah, I'll try. Um, for almost 30 years, whether it was a Democrat or Republican in office, this has been a problem. So it's not been two decades. It's been more like three. And one of the problems is whether you're vetting, whether you have more Border Patrol agents, that all comes down to money. No president, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Bill Clinton, George Bush, Barack Obama, can just write a check and have border agents en masse and, and to take care of this. Nor can they clear up four to seven years backlog and put more money to put systems at the border. That does come down to Congress. We've tried on both sides of the aisle to work together, remember our gang of eight, and, 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 it's failed, uh, and it's failed miserably. And one of the reasons for that, both sides continue to use immigration, especially in an election year, a general election year, even more so that's coming up, uh, to use these people and the system as political pawns. Title 42 was never going to be there forever. Uh, I think we're very naive or ignorant to think that it was. We had a health crisis. That health crisis uh, is now being lifted on an national level, and we knew that would happen with Title 42. People that were in Mexico weren't going to stay there forever. Uh, so, you know, if, for, for people to think that any president, and I said this during uh, Trump's uh, presidency as well, to think any president has a magic wand and can make this all, all better, that is wrong. This is a, a hugely comprehensive issue. It takes a huge comprehensive solution, and that is not one administration or one president okay, but, alone. But to but Leslie's both okay, sides I, of the I need to move on to Robbie together. because we're running out of time. Um, so, Robbie, to Leslie, Leslie's point, she talks about, you know, political stunts in big general election years. But in 2021, Democrats had the House, Senate and the presidency. So why didn't they pass something then when they had the numbers? And, you know, you could go back to the Gang of Eight legislation. I don't think that would have worked because you're not going to do anything comprehensive, but they, they could have done something. 
Absolutely. There's no way getting around the fact that President Biden has failed to fix this problem. Alejandro Mayorkas has not done anything constructive here. Uh, it, it's been just a massive failure of the administration. All that said, I understand the point, and it's correct that Congress ultimately needs to do something. We cannot. It was foolish to continue relying on Title 42 because, look, if we believe in law and order, and I, you know, conservatives believe in that, libertarians believe in that. It, this this immigration control as a pandemic measure never never really made any sense. But we weren't keeping COVID okay. from entering the country. Yeah, but, it's already here. Like it doesn't make sense. We do need Congress to make it easier for people to come to the country legally and then have border enforcement so we don't have this stream of people in unsafe conditions. It's not good for them either. It, it would be humanitarian to fix the problem at the congressional level, get immigration under control, solve the labor shortage, but do it in a way that comports yeah, with, and, with and the law. Yeah, and be honest about the needs that we have. In this country and the capabilities that we have and the support systems that are in place that, that won't get strained and go from there. I mean, there are some very practical things you can do, but this whole thing is such a catastrophe. And inaction is, it, it only makes it worse. And using someone else's administration as a scapegoat, that also is very immoral.